Hi, I'm Osiri Wisdom, the lead pastor of the Wisdom Place Church, the convener of the Man Thing Summits and the Father and Son Adventure. This is 100 Days of Wisdom, season 6. Today is day 59, and I'm talking about hard work as one of the 100 leadership values and insight every good father needs to teach the son hard work. You know, uh, these days, there's a language that is going on, it's called soft life. Soft life means that, you know, you come out, you press this button, this thing happens, you know, you wear your clothes, you throw it here, then the, the washing machine washes, spins, it dries, it's iron it, the other side, you bring it out, you know, you, you press a button and order food and they come, no need to stress yourself, you know, and all those kind of life, you want to do pedicure, manicure and massage, you know, you have soft, <laughs> soft life is good. I subscribe to soft life. But what we need to teach our son is that soft life is powered by hard work. Hard work is important. In my hometown, there's an adage they say, it is a soily, soily, soily hand that brings an oily mouth. That oily mind is the soft life. That's the enjoyment part. That's the entertainment part. That's the recreation part. That's the cruising part, right? Flexing, like we say. But it's important we have young men who are hardworking. These days, we have some young men who don't want to do any work. They just want to be, you know, a, a parasite on under man or mostly to under lady. And that's not what you want. Those kind of men, they call them by different names. Let me not boy with the names. But it's important for you to know your son must not be among those people that will be categorized as not being hardworking. Laziness cannot power a great destiny. Slothfulness cannot deliver the best your son has. There's great potential in your son. Yes, your son. There's great potential in your son. But he needs to understand the place of hard work. And this hard work starts from harsh chores. This hard work starts from the school work. This hard work starts from them being able to do things for themselves. You cannot have one child and have 17 domestic help. One person is carrying his right hand. The other person is carrying his shoe. The other person is carrying his book. One person is in charge of his food. The other person is in charge of baiting him. 17 people for one person. That person is not going to turn out to be any hard worker. You have to tell that person, teach that person how to be hard working. We're not talking about killing yourself. We're not saying suffering. We say hard work. Work does not kill. Our God is a worker. You know, God worked six days and then he rested for one day. He taught us how to walk. When he brought Adam, he taught Adam how to walk. Jesus came and said, he tattooed as my father walk. I am walking. You have to teach men that it is beautiful to walk. In fact, walk was given before the curse. If you remember the Bible, chapter 2 and chapter 3 of Genesis, he gave him walk in chapter 2. In chapter 3, that was when the fall came. But even at that, the part of the things that, you know, is important for you that when you walk, you, you live more lively. Walk, the activity helps you because the secret of healthy living is also movement. If your son is not moving, is not, he becomes obese. You can't have a child that is T uh, 10 years old and he's weighing 100 k k kg. Where, where is he going to? Where, where, how are we going to? How, how are you going to survive that? You want to kill him before your time? That's not a sign to show that you have money or affluence. No, it's a sign that there's a lack of discipline and hard work. I hope this is well well received by you. Please follow me on all my social media handles. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification button. Consider the wisdom, so you can know when. We post other videos. Your son will make you proud. I cherish you and I value you.